Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean from Four from Average Automotive, and today we have a 2024 Mustang RTR Spec 2 in Grabber Blue. Mustang RTR is essentially a Ford Mustang GT with the cosmetic package, upgraded handling, and an upgraded suspension. With the cosmetic package, you get these decals you see on the hood going down the side of the car, touching the sport door. With the cosmetic package, you also get this RTR badging all over it. You get a more aggressive splitter on the front bumper, the side skirts, and the back diffuser. You also get these really cool intake lights to light up. They kind of remind me of the Need for Speed movie when they did that with that. I think that's kind of where this came from. And you get a bunch of other features. Now, if you wrap down the side of the car with me, you get RTR rims, you get upgraded tires. It's really cool how it says RTR, not the Mustang of the Pony. Like I said, you get that side skirt that's more aggressive. You got the decals going down the side, touching the spoiler. It kind of blends in with the spoiler or just kind of flows and looks like it's one thing. And then on the back of the RTR, you get the more aggressive back end. I think it has an upgraded exhaust. You get the RTR badging instead of the Pony or GT. Another really cool feature about it is it has remote start. Me. So the Mustang RTR has the Coyote 5.0 engine in it. It's making roughly about 483 horsepower. It also has dual air intake, which is really cool. Not much has been upgraded in the engine. It's mainly just the suspension, the handling, and the appearance package. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to bend. On the 2024 Mustang RTR interior, it's essentially just a Mustang GT interior. There's no difficult stitching, there's really nothing special in here. The three key factors that make it different is instead of it having a Mustang GT plaque on the dash, it says RTR, it's the number, and then it has Vargas and Junior signature engraved in it. And then you also have RTR floor mats, and then you have an upgraded shifter that, I mean, I wouldn't say upgraded, it's just not your traditional Mustang shifter, it has RTR on it which is really cool. Uh, you get a few goodies with your Mustang RTR, the first one being a koozie, that's kind of cool. Spend so much money on a Mustang and they give you a koozie. And then the other thing that's even cooler is you get a letter of authenticity. <laughs> and uh, on the letter of authenticity, it says the chassis number and has Varkid and Junior's actual signature and has like a little drawing of your Mustang RTR. It's pretty cool. And so another really cool thing about the Mustang RTR is it has the Unreal Engine graphics card on it. So when you press this Mustang logo on the bottom of the console, it brings up a virtual Mustang. You can set up all your track settings, exhaust, you can do race mode. But what's really cool is how detailed and defined the Mustang on here is. And you can like spin it around. And it's basically a virtual picture of your Mustang RTR, which is kind of cool. It looks like you're playing like a video game, choosing your favorite car or something. So that's pretty rad, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and any other social media you can find.
Special thanks to Jonathan Flynn, who uses Mustang RTR today. Special shout out to Four Corners Jiu Jitsu. And then this Mustang's also for sale, so if you're interested, let me know. I'll get you in touch with Jonathan. But besides that, let's go for a drive. Have like where you can lower and height height in the suspension, or you're stuck at this height. Yeah, it's in this height. It was pretty smooth though. It is. Um, to change the uh, like the mode, it's this this button right here, up and down. You just hit it twice. Okay. Go from standard to sport to track. Yeah, it took me some getting used to, but I do like it now. It does have ventilated heated seats. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Yeah. Did you get a lot of looks on the road with it? More near the car I've had, yeah. That's awesome. Even my M5, like, I guess a lot of people didn't know what the M5 really was. I did when I first got mine, uh, my first one. And I was looking for like a Cadillac CTSV, one of the old ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the salesman's like, well, have you heard of M5? I was like, what is that? And uh, went for a test drive and I was hooked. And I was just like, this car is amazing. What color was it? Um, it was black on black. That's cool. Yeah, it was a 2015. And then I traded that in for a 2019 five competition. That one was actually a special color called, uh, I think it's called Thrigio Telesto. It's uh, especially a Lamborghini paint color. Yeah, that's cool. It was dope. It had like pearl uh, metallic flakes in it and stuff. It was very pretty. No, sh what? shockingly, um, so you know, I film like the Batmobile and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what car I've gotten the most looks on the road with? Mm -hmm. The Ghostbuster car. Like oh. it got more than the Batmobile, cool. which I thought was crazy. That is kind of wild, actually. Oh, you're good. Okay. I'm like, this is pretty steep. Yeah. That's how you go. That way you think. Uh, you can go left, actually. Or you wouldn't like get on the high? Yeah, let's try it out. I'm excited for this, but I'm also going to be really bummed out if I enjoy this more than the Shelby because, like, Shelby's are my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. 
portrait mode. I love this car. I'm very torn between selling 